Welcome back to a FIFA Jack Gaming, where today we're in a pack war. That's right, where it's cracking open up packs from Kamigawa, Neon Dynasty, Streets of New Capenna, or Innistrad Crimson Vow. We're opening up set boosters, so that means you either have you have 12 cards, you have one guaranteed foil, an art card, and a chance to get something off the list, or something for a corresponding commander deck. With that said, we have Kamigawa Neon or Neon Dynasty. Let's see what we can get out of it. The last pack we ended up getting a nice little splice that ended up knocking off the one pack that was winning. All right, so we're gonna go through all the un or through the comments and right to the uncommons. But we're gonna start off with the art card. Unquenchable Fairy, by Lavina Prima, number 39 out of 81. Bloodfell Caves. Oh. Alternate version of Prosperous Thief. Cost is two and a blue. It's a human ninja. It's an uncommon, so that's why we're breaking her down. It's a 3-2, has Nijitsu, so that means whenever it attacks, or you have a creature that's unblocked, you can end up paying the Nijitsu cost and be able to have that be attacking instead. Whenever one or more ninja or rogue creatures you control deal combat damage to a player, create a treasure token. And then we have the Heir of the Ancient Fang. A Cronin Ronin. Oh, that's a lot of the alternate art. Grafted Growth, Greater Takanaki, Commune with the Spirits, and the first uncommon, Blossom Prancher, cost is 3 and 2 green for a spirit, it's a 4-4, four, four, has reach. And when it enters the battlefield, we get to look at the top 5 cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or enchantment card from among them and put it into your hand. Put the rest of them at the bottom of your library in a random order. If you don't put a card into your hand this way, you gain 4 life. And then we have a Jujuku Naturalist that costs a green and a white. For an enchantment creatures, a human monk to 2-2, two, two, lifelink, enchantment spells you cast cost one colorless less. And then we have a saga. The Besiju reaches the skyward. Cost is three and a green. And at the first, or so when you play the saga, you get to use the ability, but then after you draw a step, you end up putting the counter on it that goes farther down. So at the first step, we get to search our library for two basic forest cards reveal them and put them onto, into your hand and then shuffle at the second one we get to put up to one target land card from your graveyard on top of your library and at the third and final one it flips into the branch of the besiege you it's an enchantment creature plant it's a zero zero reach and it gets plus one plus one for each land that you control And then we have the rare being the March of the Reckless Joy. It costs us X and a red for an instant. As an additional cost to cast this spell, you may XL any number of red cards from your hand. This spell costs us two colorless less to cast for each card exiled this way. Exile the top X amount of cards of your library. You may play two of those cards until the end of your next turn. And then the foil is a coin stalker. And then we got something off the list. Expose the daylight. Since it's off the list and everything, we'll end up breaking it down. Expose the daylight costs two and a white for an instant. Destroy a target artifact or enchantment. Then we get the scry one. Looks like it's, I believe, Guilds of Ravnica. Don't quote me on that. Or it might be a... Ravnica Alliances. 
Either way, that's something that's off the list. I still say yesterday's pack is still winning. What do you think? Put it down in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, and until next time, we'll see you later.